to be here yeah. at the Hokushu booth. Yes. Good right. build out this year. Excited. Yeah. So everybody knows that's watching this that I'm a huge fan of Hoka. So dial me in to what is new and exciting. Yeah, so we've got three styles that are going to be launching in spring of 24. Okay. And uh, some stuff from our glide stability category, from our fly category, which okay. is kind of a race focused, and then a um, nice little update to the Mach X. Mach this 6. Is okay. So this is an update to our Mach, uh, the 6 version, and it's an entirely new shoe. Okay. So we're updating from bottom to top. Because that's my favorite shoe. Is the it? Mach 5 is my favorite running shoe. I'm excited for you to try this because okay. it's become my new favorite. Okay. Um, it is updating in a really cool way where we were moving away from our dual density setup okay. where it was two foams in the midsole and we've moved to a single foam and we're using a super critical foam in okay. the midsole. So you're thinking super lightweight, responsive, up-tempo ride. So familiar, you're going to reach yeah. for it for the same use that you would on the 5. This okay. just has a little bit of a lighter feel and a more responsive ride to it. Oh, it's not like the Mach X, is it? No, it's okay. going to be Great. Um, totally a little did. bit more plush okay. and not as, uh, I guess, race ready as you'd pull a Mach X for. Okay. Yeah, so this is great for training, those up-tempo days, and then if you want to race in it, you can also pull yeah. it for that. Yeah, I mean, I, run, I race in my Mach 5s too. Perfect. And also, yeah. Yeah, this those is a great, great. like, okay. Short I'm distance triathlon try shoe, yeah. tempo day if you're training, road racing. Um, yeah, great update in spring of 24. Okay, and the upper? The upper is just a really nice engineered upper, super lightweight, nice and breathable. It kind of disappears on the foot in the way that you want it to. Okay. You have it like holding the foot in just as you wish, mm -hmm. but disappears because it doesn't feel like much is there. So, okay. awesome. yeah, great update that. throughout. Um, also in the update, we've got rubber on the outsole. We didn't have rubber on the outsole for all of our previous mocks. Okay. So um, it's going to be a great addition for uh, durability and traction. Okay. So yeah. key updates in every aspect of the shoe. That's awesome. I love the colors. It's so pretty. Yeah, we're really dialing in our colors. It's been a lot of fun. I always say like on my gear reviews that Hoka has like the best design like of all the shoes, no offense, but Hoka I design do. team. <laughs> Shout out. Shout out to the Hoka design team. All right. Cool. I love it. So moving so that's from the Mach 6, the Mach 6 into right. the Arahi 7. Okay. Uh, the Arahi 7 is just an upper update. So okay. the same midsole, outsole that you've seen on the Arahi 6. So using the stability um, component of our J-frame. Yeah. Um, and the focus really isn't on the upper, just dialing in some of those details of the textile, the mm -hmm. engineering, and it really is this soft, supple, breathable upper, um, just to kind of dial up the overall style a little bit more in spring 24. What's the Arahi for? Like, what's the like? What kind of shoe is it? Typically? So the Arahi is. A I've great, never run in it. It's yeah. it's a stability option. So for those that maybe um, pronate more than others, okay. uh, it's a great option to kind of keep you in balance um, as you're moving through the gait cycle, so you're not awesome. over pronating. Okay. Um, and it has a great analogy as like, it's very similar to a Clifton in stack heights. Okay. And smoothness of the ride, but it has more stability than a Clifton. Okay. So that's Got kind it. of a great way to look that's at great. it. That's great. Yeah, this is like your stability shoe. Yeah. Awesome. Exactly. I love it. Uh, and then moving into the spiciest of the three on the table is the update to the Mach Wait, X. Looks awesome. Yeah. Okay. The Mach X2 I did uh, yeah. for uh, this update because we've done a lot of fun um, integration with new materials mm -hmm. and technology. So uh, we're utilizing a super critical foam and then a PIBA foam. Right. So the PIBA foam you'd see in other styles like the Rocket X2. Okay. So we're using the same SCF or super critical foam that you saw on the Mach 6 right. um, in one of the layers. And then the other layer, the top layer, is going to be our PIBA compound. So okay. super lightweight, soft, responsive. In between those, we have a PBAX plate. So similar to what we used in the Mach X, we're using the same type of plate here in Got the Mach it. X2. And then details in the upper, we've really kind of stripped it back, but made sure that it's still hugging the foot in a performance lens. We always okay. want to make sure that this thing is ready to go on race day or those really focused tempo sessions. Okay. Um, but yeah, the entire shoe complete for uh, 2024. Uh, fired up with this update. So you've had a lot of success with the Mach X. Yes. And so you're doing the Mach X too. Yep. 
Yeah. Will so, the Mach X still be available, or is it just like this is like? Yep. So this yeah. will be the next version. The Mach okay. X will phase out, um, and this will replace um, cool. the current Mach X. I'm excited X. to try it. And what's happening with the Rocket X2 that's not on the table? Rocket X2 will live forward. <laughs> yeah, we're still gonna have that. This is my line. favorite running shoe, yeah. like hands down. We will still have it for okay. you. We'll awesome. still have it for your followers, and it's gonna stay in line. And uh, yeah, that will maintain in the Hoka lineup. Okay. In addition to the Mach X2 cool. um, for those race day, race day ready options. Awesome. Thank you. This cool. has been so great. Yeah. Thanks for dropping in. Thank you in. so much. Awesome.